Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us with the Digitech Audio, this is the AR1780. It's a shortwave radio with single sideband and of course AM FM Air, which is really nice. Uh, tonight I'm going to perform an evening medium wave band scan. We're going to go over features of the radio, we'll do a little size comparison, then we'll start cruising the evening band. So let's check out the radio, Digitech Audio. Now I had been searching on eBay, I'll have some links below. Uh, I hadn't seen it on there, I'm hoping that they didn't discontinue this radio because it's a really gem, I really like this radio. Compared to the D808, this has a few features I think are really interesting, like raised buttons, AA operation, plastic enclosure over the speaker, different things like that. I do like an amber backlight. Uh, so those are things I like, you know, versus the D808. Uh, so let's go look at the features. Left-hand side, we have a carry strap. We have an antenna jack for FM and shortwave external wire antennas. We have a volume control, headphone jack. On the front, we have that speaker grill, which is all plastic. I find very durable with a three inch speaker behind there, which sounds fantastic for voice. Down there, we have like a little buzzer alarm for our alarm feature. Power sleep button. LCD display shows quite a bit. We have a clock running right now, 24 hour clock, and we're showing the temperature. And of course we can change that by hitting display and go alarm time and temperature while the radio's off. When the radio's on, you get signal noise ratio, temperature, current time, and alarm time, which is nice. So you can see your current time while you're tuning. Your frequency will come up here. Down here, you can see it says alphanumeric style. You can get RDS information on FM, which is nice. It says RDS. If I turn it, you can kind of see what it shows on the radio. The only thing I haven't seen ever light up is that sync. And I think over here it says DAB. This is not a DAB radio. So just some certain things it does show and certain things it does not show. All right, so let's look at those buttons. Lots of buttons. <laughs> uh, so we got band buttons on the left here. Uh, FM, long wave, medium wave, short wave, air. We got a light button, turns the light on. Pretty simple. The FM button has FM set, if you look at the orange writing. Secondary feature, when the radio is off, you press and hold this, and it'll change the different bands, like say from 76 to 108, um, 87 to 108, like that. Here we have, you turn the long wave off or on with that button. And short wave, when you're in short wave mode, you press this, it takes the different broadcast bands on the short wave band. Of course, air has no extra function. Over here is an important button, AMBW, <laughs> AM bandwidth. It says FM stereo. You can toggle FM stereo on and off on FM mode. And of course it says time set. So the AM bandwidth, there's quite a few. I think I believe there's six or seven. And I'll show those to you. Alarm set button, the display button you've seen. Single sideband when you're in shortwave, you can hit that button. And also when your radio is off, you can hit the button to uh, start the charge mode. You need the AC adapter, which I don't have with this radio, but there it is right there, DCN, seven volts. Um, if you can find that adapter, you want to charge your radio, that'd be great. Here's the info button. You have upper uh, upper side band, lower side band to change. And then of course, to change your RDS information on that display. And of course, to lock the radio down. Here we have tuning up and down, of course, seek up and down. A numeric keypad for entering your frequencies directly and to access your presets. This radio has 500 presets. By entering the page key, you can have uh, 50 pages of 10 presets, <clears throat> giving you 500. It's really cool because you could have an FM station next to an AM station, next to a shortwave station, next to an air frequency. So you could have all that stuff together, which is nice all on one page if you wanted to, or you can structure it however you like. You can see number five is a beep function. This radio used to beep a lot, so I turned it off. And of course, for medium wave, you can change from 9K to 10K. Going to the right-hand side, it's a little fun. We've got a tuning knob here. It's indented, as you can see. It has a push button. And it lets you change the step tuning from fast to slow to stop. And you have squelch uh, on the airband, which is nice. I believe it's nine steps of squelch strength. We have a fine tuning wheel here. Great for single sideband tuning and also for medium wave tuning. You can go fast here on 10 kilohertz tuning. And you go to 1 kilohertz tuning here. You never have to change this to slow. I find that very convenient. And of course, your input I showed you earlier. 
Top of the radio, we have an FM shortwave airband antenna. Telescopic and go 360 degrees. Nice setup. I do like that. Pretty robust. Fits in here pretty snug. There we are. Let's go to the back of the radio real quick. Uh, so it has a kick out stand with all the frequency information. Now, I notice the, it doesn't show the expanded FM bands that it does have. Long wave, I believe it's a full coverage. It doesn't stop at 279. It goes all the way up to 5, uh, 510, I believe. And then the uh, short wave band, so full coverage also. It's uh, 1.7 megahertz to 29.9 megahertz. So I don't know why they, the printing's wrong, but it is on the back of this one. So here, our compartment is, uh, we'll have AA batteries. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. So it runs on four standard AA batteries, which I like. I'm using EBL high capacities. If you want to know orientation, some people do. Uh, top row, positives to the right. Bottom row, the batteries are to the left. Okay, very simple. Got a little strap to help pull them out. But uh, yeah, pretty basic setup there. Let's go ahead and put that back in. And on the bottom of the radio, there is a reset button right there. So use a little toothpick to reset the radio if it locks up. I've had this radio for a few years and never had to reset it, so that's a good thing. Looks like I inadvertently turned it on. So let's go do a little size comparison, bring this up. We'll get to tuning, it's fun. There's a lot to do with this radio though. I like doing this. This is the D808. It's a good comparison, D808 came out after the uh, AR1780. So I get this in frame here. If you'll notice, if I go up a little higher, the D808's tuning knob's a little longer, easier to hold. I like that, that's one bonus there. D808 has like a white backlight versus the amber. Uh, I prefer amber myself, personally. The D808 has uh, flush keys um, and buttons. Some people like that, some people don't. Uh, I'm okay with it. I can hit them pretty good, but I can see that this feels much better when you're tuning. But uh, there you go, you can see that. Also, this has the uh, metal speaker grill, which I think can dent. And this runs on an 18650 cell, single battery. I like those batteries. I think they're pretty cool, but they're not standard like double A's, which have been around forever. So that's a big selling point for this Digitech. Um, other radios I can bring in frame. We have CC Skywave. Now, if you notice, they look very similar. Red power buttons. Printing is the same. Um, so I th I'm thinking the same company makes these for these for Digitech and for C-Crane because um, they look really similar in the way they're built. And also, if you search on my link below, you'll notice that Digitech still makes a radio similar to this. Uh, it just doesn't have some features, I believe, like some bandwidth controls and the NOAA weather band. So kind of interesting. And then we have CC Pocket. Yep. And last but not least, Iron Man. Don't we'll get to tuning. Whoops. The band. Iron Man just drops right on there. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Digitex from Aussie land. He's Iron Man. Yeah, these come from Australia, by the way. I had to import it. All right, so let's go ahead and lower this back down. We'll start cruising the band. Evening, usually don't need a passive loop, but I do have a Turk advantage to my left on a chair. I'll bring it up if I need it. Here we go, Turk. It helps if we have some faint stations. But uh, like I say, it's been great listening lately, so hopefully we'll get to pick up quite a bit. Turn this on, get our volume control here, sleep function activated on 520. We're on fast tuning. You can see this is fast, slow, stop, go back to fast. We have one killer tuning here. And then here we go fast with this. That's cool. This music is CHLO 530 Brampton, Ontario, 441 miles, 250 watts. That sounds fantastic. Now display, I'll change the display here. Got alarm, got the current time, and the signal to strength, signal to noise ratio to, for signal strength. I, us, I usually use these numbers, it's just a guide to see how well the signal's coming in. Uh, usually the second number is more important to me than the first number. This is looking pretty good. This is usually a pretty faint station. I can't hover on the music. It actually is copyrighted. <laughs> Gotta love it. But it's coming in clear, so let's keep tuning. <laughs> okay, this is a 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts at night. I think the antennas are pointed away from me. Um, we can get leave the light on, I think. Press that. And we'll play with the bandwidth controls. 2.5, 2 kilohertz. 
1.8 is my favorite. 1 kilohertz. 6, 4, and 3. I'll leave it on 3 for most everything. Uh, time, current time, I think I showed you that. Let me just go back to that. Current time is 11.11. 11. Um, this is Central Standard Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, to give you an idea of my location. This is south, and that is west. Give you an idea how I'm pointing the radio. All right, so let's go ahead and keep tuning. Turn this up. I'm going to put that uh, straight signal strength ratio up there. There we go. the merits of the case we have a track record of judges across america 560 wind chicago so good that they simply do not wish just picking up wnax yankton south dakota 460 miles 5,000 watts i did a daytime band scan with this holy cow was it amazing <laughs> amazing listening um perfect conditions Got a couple new stations out of it too, which was nice. Does learning a language feel like this? No habla espanol? Uh, it's hablo? It's hablo. Okay, here we go. Uh, KXSP, Omaha, Nebraska, 405 miles, 5,000 watts. You want to actually use it. Babel is designed with that goal in mind. There are some wondering why I turn the radio, so I will mention it in every medium wave band scan video I do. Um, the medium wave um, is the medium wave broadcast band. It uses an internal antenna which is usually a ferrite rod wrapped in a copper wire, and that receives the signals because the signals are longer wavelengths. For short wavelengths like shortwave, FM, and airband, you use the external antenna, this one here. So most radios have two antennas. So some people don't know that. They wonder why I don't extend this for AM reception. It's not dependent on that antenna. Uh, and of course, this is the horizontal edge of that rod antenna, ferrite rod, and you point that towards the station you're trying to tune in. That's why you see me moving the radio back and forth. So if I go here, signal's okay. If I turn it, it gets better. And they're having a test. <laughs> Some of my, the weather uh, bugs watching my channel will love this. Uh, WTMJ, 620 Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 52 miles away, 10,000 watts. has been issued statewide for the following child, Jocelyn T. Okay, I can't, I'm not going to hover on the name, but uh, yeah, so well, that's a real alert there. Wow, okay. Yeah, because this video will be aired at a later date. 100 block of Fox Lane in Waldworth County, and is missing from the village of Waldworth, Wisconsin. Last seen wearing a white t-shirt with Eiffel Tower image. Okay, keep going. Country music on CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Hispanic music on uh, WMFN, Piatone, Illinois, 75 miles, 1,600 watts. I can't walk out on Sounds pretty good there. WSM 650, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Body drops. And tend to go make a third down now at about nine. Long nine. The ball is the this is coming in good. This is WFAN, New York, New York, 750 miles, home of the Yankees. Uh, here's 670 to score. This is Monday Night Football, by the way. Um, <laughs> of course, it's cool. Uh, this is uh, the score, home of the Cubs, Chicago. Get the ball out, as you said, a little bit high. 
Okay, I think she said CFTR, um, 680, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles, and this is actually the direction to Toronto. Cool. CKGM 690, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. I personally take a responsibility when it comes to something as serious th as this is to take it as that serious. I may make fun of like it was Clinton back in the day. Here's 700 WLW Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. When it comes down to elections and security, we can argue philosophy. Here's WOR, New York, New York. Or visit permaseal.net. One of the strongest stations in my neighborhood, WGN Chicago, 720. Orion Samuelson is one of a kind, a legend in the broadcasting world. But he... So you can hear the country music. I was able to hear it better by tuning it up a little bit by one kilohertz tuning. On 730 uh, is CKDM uh, Dauphine, Manitoba, 820 miles. That's what we're listening to now. Cool. There you go. Got the call letters. Sweet. The music there is Zoomer Radio, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Always a treat. And you can receive an all-cash offer, close in as little as 21 days, and their offers are the strongest in the... 750 WSB Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. over 20,000 families, and you know it's the Mark Spain. Schedule an appointment with one of our firm's Detroit area attorneys. Here's 760 WJR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Have you ever wanted to learn a new language like French, Spanish, or Russian, but thought it would be too difficult and time-consuming? Then go to Babbel.com and try it for free. Babbel works because this is coming in nice and clear. This is WABC, uh, New York, New York, 750 miles. Sounds like a local. I would like to wait to see if they'll do a station ID. Pretty long commercial. Don't use your power if you have sudden breathing problems or if you 780 WBBM Chicago. Ingredients. Before using you, Pelry, tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including look. I think we're picking up CKLW, Windsor, Ontario. 270 miles. The bandwidth really helps there. I like the 1.8 for the faint stations. You can go down on one, but it's kind of harder to hear. I think this is a 820 WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. 
uh, at tight end spot. You had weapons all over the place, and Ben could kind of just orchestrate it. Now they have to put Ben in the shot. WCCO 830, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. It looks ugly when check your guys or tell your cable operator you want Newsmax like everyone else. Watch Newsmax TV today and vote in their big poll. On Here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, ground zero during the day, or not during the day, during the evenings, um, till 12 uh, a.m. And then 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. is coast to coast, um, which is, you know, interesting. Sometimes there's some cool subjects. Holiday sale. Right now you can get 35% off a new system and... KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. From the foul line, the uh, Bumbles had 14 turnovers, the Bears had 21. Exact, exact, exact. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure that. There are these decisions that are... Sont... CJBC, 860, uh, Toronto, Ontario. Cleveland's got three and they break huddle with Jackson back out there. Oh, yeah. Pointing straight south now, we're listening to WWL. New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. This is, sounds like a local, too. This is great. Uh, WCBS. New York, New York. That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? New consumer accounts only. Approval required. Term supply. Capital One and A member FDIC. Balance of nature is fruits and vegetables in a capsule. Multiple in commercials world, though. One life <laughs> Sounds good life. though. Amazing. Here's uh, WLS Chicago. Um, WLS has this high pitch ring with my camera. I can get rid of it by tuning it down about one or two kilohertz. The radio sensations are sweeping the nation. Smart Levin. Attempted hijacking of the Electoral College. It's happened before. The Electoral College officially validated President elect Joe Biden's win and, in effect, rejected President Trump's claims he really won. More on all that in five minutes. For now at 11.25. Get the Bloomberg Money News here on WCBS. It was another. There you go. I had to tune back to get that. <laughs> I had to hear it. Kind of tune up a little quicker. Ford Atkinson, Wisconsin music. Okay, so we're getting a local station there, Chicago. Sometimes they'll get Detroit, um, but I heard relevant radio there. Here's CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba, 675 miles. This is how FanDuel helps you get more out of every game. Plus win and you get your winning... 1,000 WMVP, ESPN, Chicago. They just said, under these circumstances, very short opinion... KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. Here's WHO, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. When the great fire of... Ten sixties KYW, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, seven hundred miles. Bandwidth really helps with this uh, fading signal. All you have to do is point. Do yourself for someone else. Of course, you can have it right there in your home, or you can come to Jacksonville and live on the beautiful Bible School of Prophecy campus and study the Word. Okay, <laughs> K-A-A-Y, Little Rock, Arkansas, 570 miles. For a four-year course, bath all rise, bath all rise, your dream bath's on the way. 
Here's 1100 WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. Happy holidays from Bath R Us. Attorney CPA Joe Cordell. You hear the f- sexual harassment claims against him going on right now. Here's KMOX, St. Louis, Missouri, 275 miles. ...holding him accountable for these sexual harassment claims. Four hundred thousand have been returned so far. Here's WRVA, Richmond, Virginia, six hundred and sixty-five miles. Have been requested, and a little bit under two hundred fifty thousand have been returned at this point. It's going to be advertised. We don't have sponsors. They will pull out. 2020 was an unforgettable year, but the biggest story of all, eclipsing COVID-19, is the plot of the news media, Facebook. <laughs> WHAM, Rochester, New York, 545 miles. It's become a subjective term these days, and the corrupt media cherry picks. So the nice thing is you can always tune if you don't like something you hear. <laughs> or you can leave it if you like it. You set it as a preset. <laughs> Across the country, who want their voices to be heard and to make a difference? Give them go a little quicker because typically there's a lot of jumbled stations in this area of the band between pretty much 1230 to 1500. I think this is CIWW, Ottawa, Ontario, 660 miles. To give each other a chance to lower the temperature. I think we're just picking up Green Bay. Uh, this is WTAQ, about 155 miles, 5,000 watts. Kind of competing with other stations there. Not sure what's on 1390. Oh, okay, that's a local station. Uh, WGRB, I think. Um, gospel music, that's right. The brain had to fire a few neurons to figure that out. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> Here's a WMBD, Peoria, Illinois. They do coast to coast in the evenings and ground zero also. WLAC, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. WCKY, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Fifteen forty is K uh, X E L Waterloo Iowa two hundred and ten miles. We're almost through. Could be a local station on fifteen ninety. CHHA, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Got music there, KCJJ, the mighty. Uh, 1630 Iowa City, Iowa, 175 miles, 1,000 watts. KCNZ, Waterloo, Iowa, 210 miles. Thousand watts. They get the 44-yard 
Touchdown, Bears. Okay, here's KBGG, Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. That finishes this up. Okay, let's turn it off. Uh, do final thoughts on the Digitech Audio. Yeah, if you can find one and you like the style, uh, check my links below. But if you can't find it, don't be bummed out. Um, if you want to settle for the D808, you'll get the same performance. I mean, these radios perform identically. And this one may even have a little bit of an edge. Um, but uh, they both seem to do very, very well. They're based on pretty much the same circuitry. They do look a little different in the inside, but mainly everything feature-wise is the same. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the 1780. I'm glad to have it back out and doing some band scans. Uh, just absolutely amazed by its tonal quality, its build quality. Um, just a neat radio to own. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Two, if you like shortwave radios, you like different companies, and you want to see reviews and band scans, make sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get, noti get notified of future videos because I do produce a video every two days for you guys. And then, of course, three, comment down below what you think about the Digitech Audio 1780. Uh, do you like it? Uh, is it something you would try to actively find? Do you like the raised buttons? Do you like the AA operation? Do you like the solid plastic construction? Um, those things mean a lot. Do you like the amber backlight? You know, it's just little things. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.